So in the 2022 Management of Hyperglycemia Consensus Statement from the American Diabetes Association and the European Association for the Study of Diabetes, uh, the focus has shifted a little bit. With regards to management of hyperglycemia, uh, we feel that a more holistic approach is needed. And what we mean specifically by that is a four-part simultaneous attention to glycemic management, weight management, cardiovascular risk uh, reduction, and uh, application of cardiorenal uh, uh, therapies or sort of organ protection. With regards to management of glycemia, we uh, continue to emphasize the need for the use of GLP-1 receptor agonists or SGLT2 inhibitors in patients with atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease or at high risk, and specifically SGLT2 inhibitors in patients with chronic kidney disease uh, or heart failure. If you need both classes of drugs, the idea is to use both a GLP-1 receptor agonist and SGLT2 inhibitor together. The other new emphasis uh, in the management of hyperglycemia consensus statement uh, is a need to simultaneously focus on achieving glycemic goals uh, and weight goals in every patient with diabetes. And recognizing that often we have the opportunity to use highly effective therapies for both glucose lowering and for weight management within a single agent. There's been a lot of discussion here at the American Diabetes Association scientific sessions about potentially using alternative targets like aiming for 15% weight loss as a strategy for reducing glycemia, managing diabetes in the, in the long run, as opposed to having the sort of classic target of, uh, of hemoglobin A1C. And we embrace that uh, conceptually, uh, but, but really present it as a need to focus on both glycemia management uh, and weight management in every patient. Uh, a third area of new emphasis in the 2022 ADA EASD management of hyperglycemia consensus statement uh, is a series of practical tips, which are really advice to providers broadly from nutritionists uh, and uh, exercise uh, therapists to primary care doctors and pharmacists uh, to enhance their ability to implement the recommendations that we provide uh, and a focus on person-centered care, namely that the advice that we're providing is really involved with the individual with diabetes as a leader of the healthcare team and their preferences and values are at least as important as that of the provider. All of this is really about improving outcomes in people with diabetes, but in reflecting on in this hundredth year anniversary of the discovery of insulin of how fast they went from the first sort of proof of principle in an animal model to initial uh, human studies with insulin in just a matter of weeks to months, and then to having a marketed pharmaceutical product uh, within a year in the United States and within just a few years, uh, insulin being available worldwide. But still, 100 years later, we have not fully implemented the promise uh, of, uh, of insulin therapy in our society. And then reflecting on the last few years experience with COVID-19 and how we were able to very rapidly come up with diagnostic tests, preventive strategies in the form of vaccination and uh, therapeutic strategies in, in the form of uh, both uh, uh, infused drugs and, and tablets, how fast we were able to make that uh, progress with a spirit of collaboration and really implementation in a pretty remarkable way in hundreds of millions of people globally, but still we fell a little short with regards to implementation. Similarly, in Diabetes Today, we think that the major opportunities to improve the health of the world from a diabetes perspective is enhanced implementation of the best evidence that we know works in individual practices, in healthcare systems, uh, and in nations. And that will also require a greater focus on social determinants of health. 
uh, for many people, it's not a lack of access of care that's really the barrier that we must overcome. It's social determinants of health, uh, which uh, require a completely different approach. So for us to improve the health of our society with regards to diabetes, we need to implement better and we need to pay, pay closer attention to social determinants of health to ensure equity in the delivery of diabetes care for all people with type 2 diabetes.